morning guys good morning good morning good morning guys morning as you jump on and um, good morning <laughs> good morning everybody as it's good time to pray this morning so just going to wait a moment or two for people to jump on with us and uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are ready to pray and uh, ready to get into it. And good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, guys, um, you know how to do this by now. Uh, take a moment quickly. Let's get the stream out <laughs> to other people. Share the stream. Tag five people into the stream this morning. Uh, this morning, we're going to specifically concentrate um on uh, on healing and uh, specifically pray for healing um and also for one or two other dimensions of things that i just wanted to get into this morning but uh as you get on as you as you climb on this morning good morning guys i see many of the names let me greet some people uh good morning katlejo good morning clapton durban how's it guys hi rina uh good morning ingrid mia cookie um let me see as the people comment uh, good morning, uh, Nicole. Uh, good morning, Vanessa. And uh, guys, good morning, uh, Minerva, uh, Mamelo. Good morning, guys. Well, it's a good time to pray again, I say. And um, good morning, Rion, they're out of Cape Town. Hey, how's it, guys? Cape Town people are also climbing on. Uh, Deneo, good morning, uh, yeah, out of Pretoria, Jackie. Guys, um, well, first and foremost, it's a good, as I say, it's a good time just to pray again this morning. And uh, it's a good time to bring our requests known to God. Amen. And uh, I believe that as we pray together today that the Lord wants to uh, shift things, keep on moving things with us. And uh, especially, especially as we seek the Lord's face every morning. Um, God is just doing unusual things. Uh, yesterday again we've heard new testimonies, fresh things are coming in every single day. Um, and it's just a blessing to be together and to pray. Amen. Um, and this morning I want to start like that again, as we start always. I just want to thank the Lord. I want to thank the Lord for who He is. I want to thank the Lord for what He's done. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for what He's going to do. May we, may we declare, may we be bold to say that they that know that God will do great exploits for Him. And more than that, that as we or into November, into December, that these next couple of weeks, uh, as we go out of this year into 2023, that we'll move into a, a moment and a time of supernatural activity. Uh, let me say that again, supernatural activity. Amen. But let's pray together this morning, guys. Let's, um, let's agree together in, in prayer this morning. Let's just thank the Lord. I, I personally I always start my prayer life like this. It is there's power in thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the way and the methods of how we enter in. So um, let's give the Lord thanks this morning. And as you guys are, are here uh, and commenting this morning, I want you just to say, just say thank you, Lord. And, um, and let's start off by praying. Father, we want to thank you this morning, Lord Jesus. There's nobody like you, Lord. You are unique in your attributes. Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the power of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that our names are written in our book of life, Lord. That we thank you this morning, Lord Jesus, that we can come to you in this day. Thank you that your mercies are new in this day. Thank you that your grace is sufficient in this day. Father, I want to pray in this day, Lord, that we would come as a people of God together being expectant. Lord, as Abram was in Romans chapter number 4, Lord, considering the facts but wavering not in the goodness of God. And Father, thank you that this morning we can say, Lord, we are convinced in your goodness. We are convinced in your kindness. We are convinced about your mercy. We are convinced about your loving kindness, Lord. And Father, this morning, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bring our households before you. We bring our family before you. We bring sons and daughters before you. And Father, we come to you with expectation. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can say, Lord, that as we go into November, Lord, and the latter part of November into December, Lord, that there's 50 days, Lord, of greatness ahead of us. 50 days of unprecedented goodness. 50 days where we will see the Lord move like no other time. Father, we expect in this morning. And Lord, in this day we say, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. As it is in heaven, let it be so on earth. 
Father, I want to pray, Lord, surprise your people, Lord, with your goodness. Surprise your people with signs, wonders, and miracles. Surprise your people, Lord, by clearing debt, Lord, and making a way. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can say confidently this morning, He that is with me is greater than he that is in the world. Thank you, Father, that you've made me the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. In all my ways I shall prosper. Thank you, Father, that goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life as I dwell in the house of the Lord. Thank you, Father, that in this day we can declare that he that is with me surrounds me with a song. He sings over me a song of victory, a song of love. And Father, this morning we come to you, King Jesus. And we recognize once again, Lord, that there's nobody like Jesus. Lord, you are the way, the truth, and the life. And Abba, Father, in this morning, we rest in your goodness, Father. I thank you, Lord, that people will experience moments of greatness with you, Lord. And Lord, in this morning, we say, Lord, hallowed be your name. Lord, we love you, Lord King Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you, Father. We love you, Lord Holy Spirit, in Jesus Christ's name. We thank you, Lord, for who you are. Lord, we thank you for what you're going to do. We thank you for your goodness, your kindness, Lord, your loving kindness, in Jesus Christ's name. I want us to pray this morning as we step into, into um, declarations this morning. And again, if you uh, haven't noticed, I, I'm telling you every time we pray, we have to know why we're doing what we are doing. The scripture makes it clear that God knows the plans He has for us, declares the Lord. So we're declaring with God together. And this morning we're going to make a stand against sickness. I believe that all of us must be healed. I believe all of us must be whole. I believe that there must not be a sick person amongst us. Not a sick person in your family. Not a sick person in an extended family. I believe Jesus Christ came to heal us, to set us free. Amen. And by His stripes there is not a drop of blood that a devil can stop. And let me say it, one drop of the blood of Jesus is stronger than every devil in hell. Uh, every sickness, every pestilence, one drop of the blood. Amen. And so this morning, as we go into this, I want you to, to I want us to share, I want us to get this video out, uh, get the stream out, guys, and now we're going to start with our declarations. I wrote one last night uh, based on healing and based on what I believe that the Lord wants to do this morning. So it's going to be fresh today, but I believe it's the heart of God for all of you. And so let's start to declare together. Father, thank you that in this day, I can declare by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. I am healed. He took my sicknesses. He took my pain. I believe it is the will of God for me to be healed. I want you to say that I believe it is the will of God for me to be healed and to walk in divine health, and to walk in divine health. I want you to say that. Say with me, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I break every curse of infirmity, sickness, and premature death of my body in the name of Jesus Christ. Just want to say that again. In the name of Jesus, I break every curse of infirmity, sickness, and premature death of my family and of my body in Jesus Christ's name. Then in the name of Jesus, I break every curse of witchcraft and destruction over my life on all sides of my family in Jesus Christ's name. Let me say that again. In the name of Jesus, I break every curse of witchcraft and destruction over my life and over my family in both sides in Jesus Christ's name. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every sickness in my body and I command it to leave in Jesus Christ's name. I want you just to say that to, to everything in your body. Say, say with me, in the name of Jesus, I speak to every sickness in my body to leave at this command, in Jesus Christ's name. I, in the name of Jesus, I speak to every sickness in my body and I command it to leave. In the name of Jesus. And I wrote down some sicknesses that I really feel the Lord wants to, the blood of Jesus wants to remove. There might be more, um, but I just wrote some down. In the name of Jesus, I speak to diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, heart attacks, strokes, multiple sclerosis, 
and any form of sickness, I command you to be removed and to be casted into the sea. And right now, what I want us to do, guys, um, I want you to name any form of sickness that there might be, any form of sickness. We're going to command these sicknesses to get their proper place. Paul the Apostle said in Romans chapter number 16, verse number 20, the devil has one place and that's under our feet. And so let's break this and let's make sure that we put these things where they should belong. And that is under our feet. Amen. Out of our bodies, under our feet. And there we are this morning. I want you just to name uh, sicknesses because we want to humiliate them as we trust Jesus this morning for supernatural healing. I believe that's what he wants to do. And I just want you to throw up those names as we go through them. So Father, and again I say, in the name of Jesus, I speak against diabetes. Lord, we speak against high blood pressure. We speak against cancer. We speak against heart attacks. We speak against strokes. We speak against multiple sclerosis. And we say, be removed and cast into the sea in Jesus' name. I speak to every heart. I speak to every kidney. I speak to every back. I speak to every lung. I speak to every liver. I speak to every organ. And I say, come into normality in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, just agree there with me. I speak to blood. I speak to the skeleton. I speak to the bone. I say be normal in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every form of, of disease of the bone, every form of disease of the blood, any form of disease of any form in the body, and I tell you, be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Then, every hidden sickness and every hidden disease I command you to leave right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let's go further. I command pain, I command all pain to leave my body in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's just say that together. So I command every form of pain to leave my body in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I want to thank you that every form of pain leaves the body right now in Jesus Christ's name. And Father, as we see these, these conditions being uh, commented right now, Father, I want to speak out over every form of sickness and disease. We bind your abilities over the people's bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we speak divine healing. We speak divine strength. Lord, over everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. We say sickness, find your place. Find your place under the feet of every person that is on this stream in this day in Jesus Christ's name. We bind your potential. We bind your abilities. We bind your voice. We bind your reports. We say to you, you are foreign to the human body. You are foreign to our bodies. You do not belong in our families. Father, this morning we break every demonic curse. We break every demonic cycle. We break every demonic pattern over people and households in Jesus Christ's name. Father, we call these things to an end. And Father, we agree together online with 400 plus people and more. And Father, we agree this morning that there will be not any form of sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. Guys, I want you to be, be, be with me on this. Father, I want to thank you that in this day, we can declare divine health, divine healing, divine strength to flood bodies in Jesus' name. Father, we exercise our covenantal rights, which says by the blood of Jesus Christ, there's full remission of sin, which includes sickness, disease, and pestilence. And Father, we break the power of the devil over people's lives in this day in Jesus Christ's name. And Father, we call to an end demonic patterns and cycles that I see in the name of Jesus Christ. And we say to you, your time has come to an end. Your time of attacking people's bodies have come to an end. And we evict you in this day in the name of Jesus the Christ, the Son of the Most High God. And we speak healing over bodies in Jesus Christ's name. Father, we thank you that we can come 
then speak now and I speak to every digestive order the every that di- I speak to every digestive disorder whichever it might be any form of allergies Lord we break that in this day in the name of Jesus and father we thank you you have not created us of disorders of the digestive system or allergies of any form no Lord you have made us whole and complete and so father we speak to the digestive systems this morning in the name of Jesus and we declare you whole in Jesus name and father I want to thank you that right now Lord we can speak to every one of these bodies in Jesus Christ's name and father I want to thank you that it shall be so in the name of Jesus Christ I want you there we are I want you just to quickly uh, just to speak to me um, and to just declare declare with me healing 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 over my body healing over my mind healing healing in Jesus name healing I want you to quickly everybody just say healing over my body healing over my mind healing healing everybody come on guys I want us to declare this healing I believe the Lord wants to do healing over people's bodies Come on guys, I want you to declare healing. We must, we must, we must pull a line with this stuff in the spirit. Just to clear with me, say healing, Lord, healing, healing. If there's any person in your family, any person in your family this morning, any person that you know about, I want us to name those people in this day. I want us to name those people, any person that you know about that needs healing in this day. We're going to trust God that in this day, in this moment, as we pray this morning, that healing will come to their bodies, healing will come to their minds. Come on, we declare healing. The Son of God came onto that cross so that He could destroy the potential of, of sickness and disease. It is not God's design for people to be sick. God doesn't want to teach you anything through sickness. He doesn't want to draw you closer through sickness. There was one man that would draw you close to God and His name is Jesus. God has not used sickness to draw people close to Him. I'm sorry, cancer is not stronger than Jesus. Uh, Arthritis is not stronger than Jesus. No, it's Jesus that brings us close. But I want us to pray for the people this morning. I want you to name the people. And as you name the people, let's pray for these precious people that God will heal them. And in this day, it shall be so. Come on, we have to be bold when it comes to these things. The, The kingdom of God is taken by force, guys. And I want us to take it by force this morning. If it's yourself this morning that need healing, you, you put that out. You say, it's me. But I want us to be clear on it this morning, that Jesus heals. Come on, Jesus heals. I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds. I want you to post. I want you to go uh, and just post names. Come on, let's, let's, let's decree healing today over people's bodies. We have to trust King Jesus in this. Day. I have a boldness in my heart as I sit here. Because I feel like the Lord wants to heal people, touch people, help people, uh, restore people. The devil has been too long uh, running rampant with sickness. Come on guys, declare that. Come, get, get into this with me. Let your faith be my faith. Have the faith of God in this day for healing. I want us just to comment. I'm giving you 30 seconds. Let's go. I'm seeing the names guys come on keep on posting the names 
Bora bakata tebi andro bushtera bakata tebi andro bushtera bakura bakata tebi andro bushtera rabat ro bushtera bakura bakata tebi andro bushtera bakata rebeshtere rebete rebeshtera bakura bakata ro bushtera bakura bata ro bushtere rebete rebeshtera bakura bakata tebi andro bakura bi andra Father I thank you Lord of every name that is being commented right now Lord we speak healing in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you Lord that right now we can command healing over every single body we say in this day Satan we break your power we break every form of sickness and disease of people's bodies in this day Father we break off every negative report Lord that might have been written over people's lives Lord we come against you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus guys right there where you are if you have sickness in your body at a specific place I want you to put your your hand there and we're going to command that healing. If you have if there's something wrong with the bones, put a hand there. If there's something wrong with the heart, put your hand there. If there's something wrong with the liver, put your hand there. If there's something wrong uh, wherever wherever on the human body. I want you just to put your hand there and let's pray. Father, I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, wherever, Lord, there's pain, if it's whether it's sickness or on the skin, Lord, whatever it might be. Father, this morning right now we come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind your abilities in Jesus' name. And we say to you, you have a name. And because you have a name, you will put yourself under the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we speak healing right now over every human person's body in the name of Jesus. We speak to the whole makeup of a human body. And we say, come in line with Jesus. Come in line with the word of the Lord. Come in line, come in line, come in line. In Jesus Christ's name. Father, with this morning, we come against every nervous condition, every nervous condition. We come against every form of insomnia, every, any form of insomnia this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, any form of insomnia. Come on, guys. I want you to be bold as we declare these things. Save, save me. I come against every form of nervous condition, every form of insomnia, every form even of acid reflux. We break your power in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against every form of heart disease. We come against every form of circulatory condition, every form of irregular heartbeat, every form of nervous system condition. And we break your power and we say, leave God's people in this day in Jesus Christ's name. I want you to declare there where you are. I want you to speak out of yourself. Say, from this day, I will sleep normal and peacefully in Jesus Christ's name. I know about many people, guys, that are struggling with sleeping disorders. I want you to, to declare in this day, from this day, I sleep normal in Jesus' name. Normal cycles of sleep in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. I want you just to say that. Say with me, normal cycles of sleep from this day in Jesus Christ's name. Normal cycles of sleep in Jesus' name. Father, thank you that we can declare right now. Lord, we come against any form of um, corroded discs. Discs. This has come to my attention recently. Lord, any form of corroded discs. Any, any form of slip disc, any form of spine, any form of back, any form of neck problems. And we say be realigned in this day in Jesus Christ. Rebete rebeshta rabako rabakata tebi andro bako rabakata tebi andro bushta ra rabata rabushta rabako rabakata rabushta rabakata rebeshte re rabata rabushta rabako rabakata tebi andro bushta rabako rabakata tebi andro bushta re rabata rabushta rabako rabakata tebi andro bushta rabakata rebi andra. Come on, guys. I just let's just push in the spirit. Bo rabakata rabako rabakata rebi andro bushta rebi andra. Rabata rabushta rebete rebeshta rabako rabakata tebi andro bushta rabako rabakata rebi andra. Rabata rabushta rabako rabakata rab. Father, we speak to diseases. Lord, we break every form of power of disease 
in this day. We speak again to backs. We speak to necks. We speak to the uh, Lord. We speak to every form of uh, vertebra in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Be normal in this day in Jesus name. Father, we say in this day in Jesus Christ's name, Lord, we agree with the divine covenant of health that we have received through Jesus. I feel in my spirit this morning as we are praying that people are struggling with nightmares. Now people that are struggling with nightmares it might sound silly, um, but I, I feel in my heart that there's people that are struggling with nightmares and I want to break that thing. Uh, you have to sleep a sleep of peace. Come on. The Bible says the peace of God, the peace of God is our portion. Borabakata to be under nightmares. There's anybody here on the stream this morning, guys, if you're struggling with nightmares, I want you just to put that out. Say, I'm struggling with nightmares. Let's pray together this morning. If your children is struggling with nightmares, I want to pray even for that this morning. Uh, any form of, of nightmares, any form. Nightmares, 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 nightmares. I want you just to comment. If that's you this morning, if you say, I'm struggling with nightmares, I don't sleep well, or maybe it's your child that doesn't sleep well, the Holy Spirit is just saying to me, nightmares, nightmares. Nightmares. Bora bakata to be under a bakura bakata to be under a bakura bakata to be under a bora bakata a bushta a bakura bakata nightmares. Bora bakata to be under a very better bishta a bakura bakata a bushta a bakura bakata to be under a bushta a better bishta a bakura bakata to be under a bushta a bakura bakata to be under a bora bakata a command. I'm just going to give you time to comment. Bora bakata to be under a bushta, a bakura bakata to be under a bushta, a bakata to be under a rebete rebesh, a bakura bakata, a bushta, a bakura bakata to be under a bushta, a rabata rabushta, a bakura bakata to be under a bakura bakara be under a bora bakata rabushta, a bakura bakata to be under a bushta, a bakara bata to be under a rebete rebesh, a bakura bakata to be under a bushta, a bakura bakata to be under a bushta. Father, we come against every form of nightmare right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we speak that every person, Lord, every child that is represented on the stream this morning, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that right now, Lord, we can come against every form of nightmares, Lord, every form of disruptive sleep in the name of Jesus. And Father, we speak over people this morning, Lord, that peaceful sleep shall be returned. Normal sleep shall be returned in Jesus Christ's name. Father, we break off if there's any foothold, if there's any entrance place, if there's any door that is open in the Spirit. Father, in this day, we close those doors in the name of Jesus Christ and we speak out over people peaceful sleep and the rest of God in Jesus Christ's name. And the rest of God in Jesus' name. Father, we speak out of a people in this day, Lord Jesus, that any form of disruptive sleep ends now. Any form of nightmare ends now in Jesus Christ's name. Bora bakata to be under, bakura bakata to be under, bushta bakura bakata to be under, rebete rebeshta bakura bakata bakura bakata to be under. Rabata rabushta rabakura bakata to be under, bushta rabakura bakata to be under. Rabata rabushta rabakura bakata to be under, bushta rabura bakata to be under. This might seem random to you, but I feel the Holy Spirit says to me, "There's people on on the stream. Uh, you have experienced random attacks. Um, it's like um, a random attack or random cycle is when uh, or cycles of attack." is because the devil, you have to understand the devil is not omnipotent, he's not omnipresent, he's not omniscient. So he cannot be everywhere at, at the same time. 
But I feel in my heart that the, the Lord is saying to me that there are people on here this morning that it's been like uh, random attacks. It's like this thing breaks, then that thing breaks, then that thing goes hay, hay, haywire. It's like multiple things, uh, multiple things. It's not just one thing, not just uh, one thing that goes. It's like, it's like multiple things. Often people have experienced, for example, it's, it sounds silly, but we've seen this so many times where people have seen, uh, for example, a fridge break, a microwave break. Uh, everything is simultaneous. Sometimes it's uh, finances gets lost, sleep goes, child becomes sick, uh, everything in a very short space of time. Um, this, this is what we call patterns of attack. So the enemy comes in a pattern. And so when he comes in a pattern, he normally does just multiple things. Um, because it's not normal, um, you know, so, and, uh, and if that's you this morning, um, somebody might have never explained this to you, but it's what we call random, random patterns of attack, and we, I want to stop that this morning, that peace will return to your house, that uh, this random, random onslaught will cease in this day, and that normality will come back, and so if that's you this morning, just say, that's my household, or that's me, and I want, I want us just to pray about that. And this is not super spiritual, guys. Very normal things. Um, but I want us to agree together. Robosh rabakat robosh ribi andra bosh tera boro bakat robosh tera bakur rabakat robosh tera bakar ribi andra bosh tere rabat robosh tera bakar rabat robo rabakat tebi andra bosh tere rabat robosh tera bakur rabakat robosh tera bakur rabakat robosh tera bakur rabakar ribi andra rabat robosh tera bakur I'm just giving time boro bakat robosh tera bakur rabakat ribi tere rabat robosh tera bakur rabakat tebi andra bakur rabakat robosh tere bi andra we cry out to you, Lord. Father, thank you that this morning, right now, Lord, we can come against every form of random attack in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, we call attacks to an end in Jesus' name. Father, whatever has launched these attacks, whatever door is open, Lord, if there is a door even open. Father, whatever has caused random attacks, Lord, we come against them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we raise up a standard of prayer right now. Lord, we raise up a barrier right now in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that we can place the shield of faith in front of us. Father, we thank you that we can put that shield right in front of us, Lord Jesus. And Lord, that we can stand behind that and fight. Father, we thank you that in this morning, right now, Lord, we can break off every demonic cycle, every demonic pattern of attack over people's lives in Jesus' name. Lord, we call in peace right now. The peace of God that transcends all understanding, which surpasses all understanding, Lord, to rest right now onto people's minds and hearts and homes in Jesus' name. I want you, there we are, to say this with me. Peace over my house. Peace over my house. Peace over my house. Peace over my house. Come on, I want us to declare that. Just say with me. Say, peace over my house in Jesus' name. Peace over my house. House and home, peace of my house, in Jesus Christ's name. I'm just going to read for you some scriptures, and I want them to jump into your spirit this morning. 
Bora bakat raboshte rabokor bakar bi and raboshte rabokor bakat rabeshtere. God says, "I'm the Lord who heals you." Exodus 15:26. Bora bakat rabokor bi and the word of the Lord declares, "My day shall your day shall be 120 years." Genesis chapter number six and verse number three. The Bible says, "You shall be buried at the old age, a good old age of 120." Genesis 15, verse number 15. When God sees the blood of Jesus, He will pass over you, and no plague and no virus shall come upon you or destroy you or your family. Exodus chapter number twelve and verse number thirteen. It is God. It is the Lord that takes away every form of sickness and disease from your midst, and it's the it's the Lord that has numbered our days, which we shall fulfill according to His purpose. And His plans, Exodus 23, verse number 25 to 26. God will not put any disease on you or on me. God will take away all sickness and disease away from me. Deuteronomy chapter number seven and verse number 15. God has turned the curse into a blessing for me because He loves me and delights in me. Deuteronomy chapter number 23, verse number five. It is the Lord that will give strength to my days, all my days. Deuteronomy chapter number thirty-three and verse number twenty-five. Come on, I want you to agree. Are you agreeing with this? Bora bakata tebi andra, bakora bakata raboshte rabakara tebi andra, roboto raboshte rabakara tebi andra. It is the Lord that gives me strength and blesses me with peace. Psalm twenty-nine, verse number eleven. It is the Lord that preserves me and keeps me alive. Psalm 41, verse number two. It is God that nurses me when I am sick and restores me to full health. Psalm 41, verse number three. It is the Lord that is my healer. Psalm 41, verse number four. It is the Lord that is my strength. It is the Lord that upholds my countenance. It is the Lord that is my God. Psalm 43, verse number five. No plague. No virus, no disease shall come near my dwelling. Psalm 91, verse number 10. The Lord satisfied me of long and good strength and a long and satisfied, healthy life. Psalm 91, verse number 16. It is the Lord that heals me of all my diseases. Psalm 103, verse number 3. It is the Lord that has sent His word to heal me, to deliver me, and to remove me from any form of destruction. Psalm 107, verse number 20. I shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 118, verse number 17. The Lord heals the brokenhearted, and the Lord binds up all forms of disease. Psalm 147, verse number 3. A wisdom is offered to me. And on my right and on my left, Proverbs three verse number sixteen. Wisdom is the tree of life to those who embrace her, as I embrace her. So, uh, Proverbs three verse number eighteen.、Um, the Lord brings health to all my flesh and strength to my bones and to my joints. In Proverbs three verse number eight. Oh, hallelujah! It is God's good report makes my bones and joints become healthy. Proverbs fifteen verse number thirty. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Come on, say that with me. The joy of the Lord is my strength, and a merry heart does like good medicine to me. Proverbs seventeen, verse number twenty-two. He makes my feet like hinds' feet and sets me upon high places. Psalm eighteen and verse number thirty-three. Hallelujah. I want you to say this morning. Say, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my healer. The Lord is my deliverer. The Lord is my my counselor. Oh, come on! I want to say that. Say with me: The Lord is my healer. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my deliverer. The Lord is my counselor. He is the God of my salvation. He is the God that heals me. He is the God that restores me. He is the God that comforts me. He is the God that is on my left, and He is the God that is on my right. He is the God that goes ahead of me, and He is the God that is at my at my hind side. He is the Lord that protects my family. He is the Lord that's with me by day, and He is the God that's with me by night. 
He is the covenant keeping God. His word does not fail. His word does not cease. His word stands now and forevermore. I will place my confidence and my trust in the Lord of heaven and earth. I will not be afraid. Though a thousand may fall on my left and ten thousand on my right, it shall not draw near unto me. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for no sickness, no pestilence, or no disease will write my story. My story and my name and my whole future has been written by the blood of the Lamb of the Lord Jesus Christ, and He has called me by name. My hair on my head is numbered, and all my days are written in His Lamb's book of life. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God, guys. Let's declare that this morning. Let's say with me this morning. It is the Lord that is going to surprise me. It is the Lord that's going to surprise me. We love you, Jesus. Father, we speak healing this morning, Lord. We declare divine strength of the people this morning. Father, I pray, Lord, that we will be full of joy, fresh joy in this day, in Jesus' name. I want you to start to testify. There we are. Just say, I am healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Surprise us, Lord. Surprise us, Jesus. Oh Lord, the joy, Lord, the joy, Oh we thank you, Lord. Healing for our families, Lord. Healing, 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 healing. I want us to trust God this morning. Just for one final thing. Can we trust the Lord? Can we trust the Lord for surprises <laughs> as, we, as we go into, into um, it's today, uh, what's the date? It's the 9th of November today. It's the 9th of November. Uh, 21 days of November. 31 days of December. Can we trust the Lord? Um, and if my calculation is right, that will be 52 days. Um, can we trust the Lord for 52 days of full of surprises? 
that we can say, Lord, surprise us in these 52 days, Lord, just surprise us. Can we declare that together? Come on, can we believe that together this morning? 52 days of just, of just God surprising us. Come on. Just say that with me. Say, surprise me, oh God. Come on, God can do anything. 52 days a lot, eh? He changed the world in three days. 52. God can do a lot. So Father, I want to thank you, Lord, this morning. Lord, for 52 days of heavenly surprises. Father, I want to thank you in this day, Lord, for 52 days, Lord. 52 days, Lord, where you can do many things in people's lives. But Father, I want to trust you in this day for the next 52 days, Lord, for surprises in Jesus' name. Lord, surprise us financially. Surprise us physically. Surprise us emotionally. Surprise us, Lord, we pray in this day, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, Lord, that good, Lord, that as we move through the next 52 days, Lord, that they will be days full of surprises in Jesus Christ's name. Father, we want to trust you for this. Lord, I believe, Lord, there's not, not a, the Lord is not just for any reason that we pray. No, Lord, we are praying and we are agreeing every day, Lord, because we believe who you say you are. We believe your word is true. We believe your word is just. And we believe your word cannot fail. In Jesus' name, 52 days of surprises. Amen and amen. I want to ask you this morning, guys, just uh, for two things this morning. Quickly just let me know as well. These prayer sessions that we have in, the, in this morning, um, is it helping you in your prayer time? I just want some feedback this morning. Um, we've been doing this non-stop now. I think it's for 11 weeks or so. Um, and I want to continue as we go along because I really believe in the power of prayer. Um, and, but I, I want to have some feedback. Uh, is that how is this helping you? Are the, your testimonies are just helping us as well uh, to know how much of an impact it has in your house and in your own spiritual life as well. So why don't you just testify quickly back for me. Um, I'm looking at the comments. Is this helping you? That is what I want to know. Is it getting you closer to the Lord? Is it activating you more in prayer? Is it assisting you in prayer? These are the things that we want to know. So I'm quickly going to look just for, um, for comments here. And I want you just to take time and just, um, yes, it helps so much. It helps me start my day right. People say I stay positive. Guys, why don't you quickly comment for me? I just want to see. They've brought extraordinary hunger for prayer and the Word. These prayer sessions helps me with my household a lot. Bora Butter, yes, Prophet, thank you so much. Uh, Olivia says, my children is, is loving it. Best way to start my day. Says, yes, Prophet, these prayers are breakthrough in my in our lives. Just give me some feedback, guys. Uh, Astals is helping me tremendously. Thank you so much, Prophet. Uh, Verona says, I love these times. Prayer mornings are powerful. Just want some feedback. Uh, Karen says, Karen says, it's the highlight of my day. Okay, good. It seems that there's a lot of, a lot of positive feedback. Okay, awesome guys. Awesome. That's all I wanted to know today. Listen, as I always say, it's a joy to pray with you in the mornings. And uh, we'll keep on doing so. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock again. And... Um, I want, you, um, I want you just to take time again, guys, share the stream to people. There are many people that need healing in this time and this hour, um, and uh, it's, a, it's just a joy. I love all of you very, very much. Thank you for praying with me again today. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. sharp. Go into this day expecting Jesus to heal you. Examine your body. Go free your body today. If there's sickness at a specific place, just check your body the whole day through and just say thank you, Jesus. It's the thank you of Jesus and gets the healing into the body. Amen. Again, I say, guys, I love you very, very much. Thank you for praying with me. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock for another time of prayer. Love you. Have an awesome day.
Bye now, guys. Bye bye. Come on, Jesus.